Good morning from Legoland Windsor. I'm here for Brick Days, which is their half term event. Also, going to check out construction for Minifigure Speedway and get on some rides. So, let's head in and look at some Lego. So, Woodland Village is confirmed to open at the resort in May. And I wonder if we'll find out any news on Minifigure Speedway and the opening date for that. So, it's a bit busier than last time I was here. And again, I'm here with no real plan of action, but I think I'm gonna head down to Minifigure Speedway first, see how to get along with that. Of course, they added the giant Minifigure Roxy, which is the tallest minifigure in the world, which in itself feels like a bit of an oxymoron, but there we go. So let's wander down there. So here at one section of the park where you can see the construction, you have to make do with the beeping from these, uh, these cars but you can see the lift hills there are, are constructed and still being worked on. I'm pan around here. Oh my god look at the size of Roxy peeking through the trees like some kind of Lego kaiju. Terrifying. So quite a lot of activity on the site today. You can see a lot of construction workers milling around doing odd bits and pieces. I mean, the entire track looks to be complete now, and I think they're just working on theming, but I'll get a closer look and verify it. Oh my God, look at the size of that. So it looks like the track work is all complete from down here. The station building also looks to be uh, pretty much there as well, which, uh, which hadn't been started on when I was here back in December. Yeah, all coming together very nicely. So it'll be interesting to see if they release an opening date for this soon. Hello, Jeep Road Coaster. So I think from down here is probably the best angle you get at the site. So there is, you can still see some digging work being done on the ground there. So I guess they're working maybe on some queue line and the sort of areas around the, uh, the track itself. But it is impressive how they managed to cram this into this little section of space up there. So from even further back you can see this full scale of the construction site. And just look how big Roxy actually is. Like she's towering over major parts of the track. Madness. So are you excited for this roller coaster? Obviously it is very, very family leaning, but looks like it might have a few fun elements there. Those uh, bank turns look like they could be quite fun. So yeah, looking forward to coming down here and checking this out when it opens, hopefully only in a couple of months time. It's a tie. And of course, if you want to keep up to date with the latest theme park fire, then subscribe. So I'm going to start the day with Ninjago because I didn't ride this last time I was here. It's on a 15 minute queue. So let's head inside. That's a bit lightsaber, isn't it? The aesthetic in this queue line is really cool. So Ninjago the ride is okay, I think. A lot of the screens are really good. There's some good use of 3D in there, some real depth. Uh, at some point there's a giant snake that turns into a ghost when you defeat it. The thing that lets it down is the ride system itself and, and primarily the shooting system, which doesn't feel very intuitive. You're just sort of going like this a lot and sometimes it shoots, sometimes it doesn't. There we go. But I'm sure, uh, I'm sure the kids like it. Um, I think it's one of those that uh, they'd use the more traditional shooting system it may have worked better but there we go can't say fairer than that so one thing i definitely am planning to do today is uh, go on this train ride because i've not done it before i quite fancy hanging out with them lego tigers over there so literally two minutes away 
from Ninjago, you have Laser Raiders, which is another shooting dark ride. However, I actually quite like this, so I think I'm going to dive in. Well, I'm going to check what the queue's like first, but I'm going to dive in. Have a go. Let's do it. It's cool how when you shoot things, something actually happens. Oh, usually you have to hit the statues there, but you, it just took us straight through. So I do think I prefer Laser Raiders to Ninjago. I think just the physical sets do add something. However, the final scene didn't seem to work there. You have to normally shoot um, a load of things on the wall to, as a trap to sort of let yourself out, but uh, just went straight through that one this time. It also didn't record any scores. So if you care about that sort of thing, then I imagine that would be a bit disappointing, but, but overall good. I enjoy Laser Raiders. It's a perfectly decent shoot 'em up dark ride. I think next course of action is to get some food because I'm Hank Marvin. Train time. So just had some lunch down at Pizza and Pasta Buffet. It was kind of the only option available really because Hungry Troll was closed again. And it was fine, a little bit overpriced as you expect with uh, Merlin and Aramark, but there you go. So I'm going to head down to Lego Mythica now. Flight of the Skyline is of course my favourite attraction here, so uh, very keen to get back on that. Just a 10 minute queue for Skyline today, which is uh, not bad at all, because it is park does feel pretty busy, but the queues are all very minimal, which is uh, good to see. Well, Flight of the Skyline is still my favourite ride here. Still the best flying theatre out there as well. I mean, the only criticism is they should do something with the ceiling. But other than that, I mean, it's, it's the perfect flying theatre, I think. His eyes are a bit creepy. Hmm. So here in Heart Lake City, we do have a bit of construction on the lake here. Looks like they're doing some work on the lighthouse and they've drained the lake. The Legoland Express is pretty good there. It's uh, quite a short little journey, but some really nice Lego animal characters and stuff on the way around. So yeah, impressed with that. I wonder if they have many giants come here because I mean, I'm six foot tall. I don't think there's any danger I'm gonna hit that low bridge. So I did notice in the Legoland Express that Haunted House Monster Party, that's quite a short queue. 
So I think I'm gonna go and give this a go. It is, of course, a Vekoma Madhouse. Well, I walked into the queue and then got pulled out of the queue because they're closing the ride. So I guess no Monster House party today. So I think I'll wander up to Deep Sea Adventure and see if we can get some underwater submarine action. Or maybe not, says. Deep Sea Adventure is taking a break for now. I assume they're going through some off-season maintenance. If you've seen my Lego Land Dubai vlog, then I actually had an entire submarine to myself over there. So feel free to go check that out on the channel. As you can see here, the queue times are very reasonable across the whole resort. It's actually pretty busy on park, but he seems to be managing the, uh, the volume quite well. Good to see. So I'm going to head into Knight's Kingdom to ride the dragon, my first roller coaster of 2024. Probably the secret of fire, I reckon. Can I have your attention to the dragon queue line? If you do see doors labelled staff and dragons, can we please ensure that we are not catching them? These doors are a restricted area for staff and dragons only. So Dragon was decent, it's a solid, dependable family coaster. The pre-show is what it's all about really, as you go through the castle, loads of incredible Lego sculptures and animatronics which really help set the scene. It's just a shame there isn't more theming in the outdoor section as well, because I think that is missing something there, but yeah, solid family coaster, can never grumble. Please remain seated, keeping one arm and legs inside the carriage at one time, and have a nice day guys. in the distance you can see Windsor Castle I can actually get reasonably zoomed into it but this is how far we actually are away yeah well worth uh, coming up here for the view so a trip up the hill train there to finish my day here at Legoland it's been a good day I've got to say despite it being reasonably busy on park the operations have been really good with no queues being any longer than about 15 minutes yeah, um, can't really complain at all today. It's been pretty good fun. Obviously, I will be back here for the opening of Minifigure Speedway when that opens up, hopefully in a month or two. And while I was down this way today, I visited the Hyperia construction site over at Thorpe Park. And you can watch that video up next. That's on the screen here. Thanks for watching. I'll catch you next time.